Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to replace the stock fans from the control box of the CR10S 3D printer. So the original fans that are inside the box are quite noisy and I want to replace those. I've already did a replacement of the hot end and part cooling fan and I got a new power supply also installed in the control box that has a manual power supply and I'm not going to replace that fan at the moment I'm going to see how it turns out it's a temperature controlled fan and I'll have to wait and see but I've seen people replacing the power supply fan for the original power supply as well but for this video I'm going to replace the exhaust fan on the control box and the circulation fan that is in the middle of the control box so let's get started after the intro. So the fans I've got are Noctua fan that is 40 by 40 millimeter by 20 millimeters, and that fan is on the exhaust end of the control box that pulls air out of the box. And then from Gelit Solutions, I have the Silent 5, and this fan is placed in the middle of the control box to circulate air for the controller. So those are the two fans I got for this project. So like with all Noctua fans, they came in a pretty awesome packaging. And there's a lot of stuff that comes with the fan. And you get the fan and the connectors and cabling and you get cables that have a, like a noise adapter. They have a resistance in it to lower the voltage and then you get a connector so you can clap it on normal cables without having to remove the plug. But I'm gonna see how I would connect this when I open up the box. So the first thing is to remove the spool holder. You can turn the box upside down and use a 2mm X key to open the box. And here you see the power supply. And this is a meanwhile power supply I had to install because the original power supply was bad. Do you have to remove the power supply you are not going to disconnect the power supply you just have to take it out and have it hanging by its side so so you can have it like this or here to the side and here you can see one fan and this is a fan that circulates air inside the box and here in the back is a 20 millimeter fan so you have to get in with a screwdriver and, and, and get this fan out but for this fan it's easier to get to the bracket So there's a bracket and you can remove the original fan. fan is connected by a connector and just to make my life easier I'm gonna remove the connector and solder in this connector on the new fan. So now with this fan it doesn't have any color on its wires but looking at the colors of a Noctua fan wire you can see how the, the ground wire is on this side here and the middle wire is the positive and the control wire 
this at the end. So when I'm cutting this to connect, I'm gonna remove the control wire. I'm not gonna use that one. So that is this one. And I'm just gonna remove it at the fan side so it doesn't get in the way. And now I know the positive wire is the one in the middle, like in this connector. So I'm gonna find that wire and I'm gonna shorten up this bundle a little bit. So now I know this is a positive wire and I'm gonna solder that to the connector. some isolation heat shrink on the wire Good to have those helping hands when you're doing this work. And you can align the wires and solder them together. So I have the positive wire connected. I can remove the negative. So now with the cables connected, I'm going to put in the isolation heat shrimp. So now I have this fan with the correct connector and I'm going to put it back on the bracket. Just make sure you turn it in the same way that it was. You want the air to flow over the control box. So it's oriented like this. This is the intake of the fan and this is the output. Then I can connect it back. But I'm gonna test it out before I fasten it. Before you test, test it out, make sure the thing is touching the main end of the power supply. And now I can see the fan rotates and it's blowing air in this direction, so this is correct. fan is a little bit bigger than the original one, so it's a little bit tricky to get in the tools. With a tool like this, it's much easier than a normal hex allen key. So this is in place, so this was quite easy. And now I have to get to the fan that is in the back, and that is more tricky, I think.
what I found out to access the screw with this tool, I really have to remove the, the fan in the middle. So I have to take that out again. So it's best to start with a back fan. I'm going to lay it down here. Now I have access to the fan and that has a plug here and I'm going to disconnect that as well while I connect the, the new fan. So this Noctua fan has also the control wire in the yellow wire and I'm going to remove that. Those wires are colored, so I just have to solder in a black wire to the black wire and red to the red wire, so this is more easy. Again, I have to put on the heat shrink wrap to protect the soldering. So now the connector is, is set and I'm just going to move the screws over. Put the fan back in, and might be a difficult task. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. To make sure you don't get any cables between the fan and the housing. I've got the first one in, so that's good. Everything is set and now I have to fasten this fan again because I had to move it to access the screws. And again, before I close everything up, I want to make sure the fan is working. So I'm connecting the mains again. And of course, I forgot to connect the fan. Now the fan is connected um, and it's just blowing air out. So that's a good good thing. So now as you can see, all the cables are messed up. Um, I'm gonna tighten them up and see if I can get them in a better shape. So go from the fan here can go over the control board and to the exhaust fan, um, not having all those cables in the middle. to reroute those power cables to the main board to the other side of those cables. It's difficult to do a proper video on how I'm just laying the cables. I'm pretty much just 
trying to get all the cables to this side. Um, here's a bunch of cables in the middle that have a point here to fix to. And I'm going to try to get a zip tie in here to fasten those cables. It was really difficult, but I tried to get all the smaller cables here to this zip tie. And I'm going to push the remaining part of those cables just underneath here. I wasn't able to get it into a loop to go under, so it's not like perfect like this. Uh, I think it's okay. Now the airflow goes from this fan over the control port and to the exhaust. So I, th I think it's a decent cable management. It's always difficult to get everything in a good shape. cables are secured. So now with both fans connected and, and working I will have to put in the power supply back again. power supply is secured um, I just want to make sure everything is connected here with the mains don't want anything to have moved around uh, this is in a good shape um, now I can put back the lid so now everything is connected and I can put on turn the printer on I think the main noise now from the control box is the exhaust fan, the 40 by 40 by 20 millimeter fan. So there's still some noise in that one blowing air outside. I might replace it at some point with a 40 by 40 by 10 millimeter, the same fan I have on the hot end for the printer. But we'll see how, how this goes. But I can feel some air blowing out, so this is doing its job. <coughs> So that was the process of replacing the fans in the control box. Um, this was no way meant to be a proper guide on how to do it. It was just my process of doing it. So if you're going to do this, please be careful with the mains and, and make sure you don't shorten anything out and, and do it at your own risk. But it was fairly easy to replace the fans. It was less cumbersome to replace the exhaust fan. I thought it would be a little more difficulty because of the orientation of the screws. But if you have a like a two millimeter hex key with a ball end, then that would make life easier. But I didn't have that, so I, was, I had to remove the, the circulation fan in the middle to have this tool to fit. But depending on your tool, that might not be necessary for you. But overall, this was going pretty good, and I think. The, the fans are pretty good. The noise from the control box now is mainly the exhaust fan and I might at some point replace it with a even quieter fan that is 40 by 40 by 10 but let's see. But for this video this will be it and I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.